What up, boo? Hello. Wanna buy a cigarette? It's like the moment before they die. Yeah. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Today I got this massive box of Generation 3 My Little Ponies from eBay So let's do an unboxing of them and I'm like really excited so ah! So this is the box that they came in <laughs> So it's a princess box, I didn't want the box but um, on the listening it was like Oh come, they come in this box and I was like Ah lovely, I'm, I don't really want that because it's just not really my test <laughs> so yeah it, they came in this princess box i mean it, it's a it's a good box okay like look look at this look at this it has storage units on the side are you kidding me so it is it's a good box i just don't like how it's you know kind of stereotypically feminine it's just not really my my style you know but i do like ponies so oh it's like great enough so I need to clean this um, after I finish this video with like a floor wipe or warm soapy water but anyway that's the box that they came in so it's a nice little box I'll probably use it because I'm in storage you know I'm more for functionality mainly at the end of the day so let's open this box da -da 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 -da! Here are all of the generation free ponies that I got. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail. Is this, is this a good thumbnail? <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna like pick them out of the box. I was thinking of like pouring them all out, but I think it'll just be better if I just like pick them out one at a time. So uh, <laughs> the, the, that one, the, the feel really slimy. Like this is, <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. <gasps> that fell off the pony what okay so they feel so slimy i don't know why do do, do do the smell okay they just smell like a normal generation free pony anyway this is our first pony out of the box i don't know any of the names of these as i know i probably know like some of them but like i'm not like a generation free expert or anything so yeah this is our first pony and they're in like the picnic pose i have like my own nicknames for like the different generation three ponies i know that they're not like necessarily correct it's just it's fun to give them nicknames so i call this the picnic pose <laughs> they kind of give me like this sort of attitude like look i only care about my mane and my phone and my fantasies now if you get involved in any of those things you will be dead so that's the first pony. I think they will make a very interesting character. <laughs> oh, I don't know where to put them. Ugh. Okay, so next pony. This is gonna be a long haul video. So I have, there's this one. This is like a pose that I've never seen before. They're like, to, to, I don't know. <laughs> so this is like the cutie mark. It's kind of like some sort of milkshake thing or some sort of drink. So I've never seen this mold before. This is like a twinkly sort of mold. I don't know. <laughs> I like the main colours. <gasps> it's like MLP fever colours. Look at them. Like the pink and the green and stuff. So oh wow. <gasps> so I, I love the colour yellow. It's my favourite colour. And I didn't realise that like like the MLP fever colours. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm calling this com colour combination. <laughs> MLP fever colours. I didn't think the this colour combination would like really suit like a yellow pony. Like look at that. They suit it so well. And they have like they have like the colours in the eyes as well. Like honestly, generation three ponies are so underrated. So who else do we have in here? We have this one. This is like is this the adorable pose? I think this is I don't know, it's not. This is not the adorable pose. Um so yes. Um, this one, it's got little bows on them and a little scuff and again they have a beautiful- Look at the colour combinations in the mains! Like, generation free ponies, like they are the best. I think these are like the go-to ponies if you need inspiration for a custom idea because the colour combinations are so like- I would have never thought of this, like putting like this red, pink, pinkish red with like blue and purple, like look at that. Isn't that amazing? Like the colour combinations and like the eye, the eye colour stories and everything on these ponies is like so like beautiful. It's beautiful. Next we have, <gasps> I love them. 
I love their mane. Oh, they have really, they have like a really long mane. I love like the long mane ponies. Like, look at them. They're in like the humble giant mold. <laughs> Pose, I mean. But I mean, I guess it, it is a mold. Like, look at that face. Look, they look like a humble, very humble sort of like pony <laughs> in, in like a humble sort of pose in my in my eyes so yeah they have like this weird cutie mark it's like kind of 3d i don't know if you're gonna like twist it or whatever and what is wrong with that flower it looks dead like look at that it looks so flat and dead it's like it got smacked <laughs> or something it's, it looks really flat and stuff but anyway this one is so beautiful again the color combination like orange blue like look at this orange blue yellow purple it, look at that it's just so like beautiful and i love look at and they have blue eyes and i love this pony i don't know this so far this one is my favorite like the cutie mark is a bit meh it's it's interesting i just don't understand like what what why is what what <laughs> it's just like a flower but i don't know if it's like has any sort of interaction with it i don't think it has but yeah very interesting pony next in the box we have this pony <gasps> this one reminds me of like mlp stop motions or c like look at them like the blue and so this is literally mlp stop motion as a g3 like they have look at this cutie mark it's a beautiful like diamond crystal and it's like look at that it's like a 3d one like that is so pretty oh they're really pretty i like them like it's like sapphire like hello i love this one but like they kind of had a lot of uh a lot of cherry pies there. Who's at all of the jam tarts? It was this one. This one's going to get beheaded later on. But yeah, um, I don't know if I have this pose. I don't know if I have one that's in this pose or anything. So yeah, I'm happy that all of the hair plugs are intact with these. Oh, okay. I take that back. Never mind. <laughs> I haven't really been checking about the hair plugs. I usually do. I will definitely check them when I come to this massive episode of a future, future episode of clean and chit chats. It's, it's going to be a big one for all these anyway. <laughs> so next we have this one so they're, they're like a fairground merry-go-round thing i don't like this pose not gonna lie like i have one in this pose i have star swirl and they are in this pose and i don't like it it just yeah it is kind of like oh it's nice it's just like you can't really like record a video of a pony in this pose you know what i mean like if they're crossing the road they can only look one way like they have to like to look that way they have to like put their they have to swing their ass on the road to look the other way and that is a hazard next pony we got this one i already do have this pony i do think of like making oh, they have a hair clip in their mane look at that oh i do think of like making like some generation free pony customs because i haven't done that before but i don't know how like rare or how common these ponies are so yeah i do think of like making like some future like I do think in the future of making like generation free pony customs so yeah I do have this one so I don't know if I'm gonna make them into in, into a custom though because I don't like this pose because like again the head is like permanently to the side and I, I just really hate that I hate when the heads are like permanently to the side I want the head straight on that's like my personal preference because I just you can't with that I just I can't just look at that it's horrible no offense but it's horrible I love the hair I love long hair I love long-haired ponies because it's kind of like fun and more interactable and stuff. Hard to maintain because <laughs> they can get really matted when in storage easier and it just requires a bit more care but like it's beautiful though. Long hair on ponies is so beautiful and it's just fun and to interact with them and they look really pretty with long hair you know. It's just this pose is just not it sis next in the box i think this one's called lily or something L lily something i do already have this pony this one has like a trimmed eyelash like look at that like the eyelash is kind of trimmed so this one's okay like this one has the eyelashes but this one doesn't i'm kind of happy that um earlier on <laughs> in my other generation free pony haul i got this it's it's lily lightly i remember the name now so i got lily lightly in another haul and i was kind of thinking of not getting those ponies because i was like oh i'm gonna get a double of this one and i kind of want to get this one but this i didn't know this one was like damaged and the head is movable they're meant to like light up and stuff like so look at that i don't know the dress lights up as well <laughs> so that's lily lightly a very interesting pony i recently found another one of these in a car boot sale but i didn't 
get them because I already I have two of them like I, I have like two of them now so yeah I love the cutie mark that is such a beautiful cutie mark I love this design it gives me like beauty in the base sort of vibes and everything it's just like look at that it's like the forbidden flower the forbidden rose even though it's like a lily because I mean that's the name lily lightly and that is a lily so it just look at that I look like that's just such a beautiful elegant enchanting cutie mark and I love it next pony we have this one in again in the paws not my preference but I kind of like them they kind of live they look like they live in like a corn field or something like look at that I don't know I, I know that's not corn but as soon as I saw that I was like that's like it looks like corn like that's like a corn flower or something I look <laughs> I'm just talking crap to be honest but like they look like they kind of live on a farm they're like Big Mac as a G3 pony because of the colours. I'm like, ah, oh, see, I knew it. I knew there was some sort of connection why why my mind went to forming. But like, they do look like they kind of live in like a cornfield, this one. They have glitter all over their forehead. It's not the best glitter, like that. It doesn't look really good. <laughs> I think they're missing like, they're, they're missing some specks of glitter. So it's kind of damaged, but they look like they live on a farm. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> So we have a generation 3.5, not the best looking ponies. <laughs> so this is Star Song. I already have a Star Song, but I don't have a Star Song in this pattern. I have, I think I already have a Star Song that's a generation 3.5, but I don't have this, this version of Star Song. For some reason, like, why are the heads so tiny? Like, every Star Song Generation 3.5 pony I've seen, the head is so tiny. Like, that is too small. Like, look, look how tiny that is compared to, like, the feet and everything. It's so out of proportion that it's disturbing. Next pony, we have a fake. We have another fake. And we have another fake. And I think that's all of the fakey ponies. I'm just gonna have a look. I kind of want to get all of like the fakey ponies out of the way. I just don't want them in my life. <laughs> I mean, I do like some of them. It's just that I don't like all of them. I'll go over the fake ponies if anyone's interested. Okay, so I already do have this one. <laughs> Yeah, they have like strawberries on that ace. That strawberry is the most saddest little strawberry I've ever seen in my life. This one is a purple one. I don't have them. They have a, a very disappointing... It, it's actually a cute little cutie mark, actually. I was gonna say that's a very disappointing kitten. No, it's, it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> so yeah, we have two unworthy uh, ivy corns. And we have this little yellow ivy corn. Kind of cute, actually. I mean, they're, they're yellow, they're my favourite colour, but yeah, so these are all of the perkies that I got in this bundle. So moving on to the other Generation 3 ponies, we have this one. That is a very detailed, interesting cutie mark. It's like a puzzle, like jigsaw sort of pony. I don't know if I have one in this mould. I don't... Pause, sorry. Should, should I say pause or mould? Pause or mould. Okay, so I don't have one in this pause or mould. <laughs> so yeah, very interesting. I don't think I do anywhere, but yeah, I like it. I do I do like this pause because it's very like simple, straight on, how I like it. You can move the head. I don't think, I don't know if like some generation ponies like have intentional movable heads or, or they're all meant to be like very stiff and stuff. So yeah, they have like a pencil mark right there. I can get rid of that. If I just get like an eraser, I can just like erase it out. So that's how you get rid of pencil. By the way, pro tip in cleaning ponies, if there's like a stain or a mark, and if you try to like scrub it off with like a sponge, but it won't come out, try an eraser. I kid you not, because that can actually work. I know it's such like a simple thing, using like a pencil eraser. It can actually, there, there's a chance of getting rid of that stain. So the more you know. Right, next pony. We have Dibble Dabble. I do have this one. Another beautiful long haired pony. And they have a beautiful cutie mark. They're a very like artsy pony. And look at that cutie mark. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Like, this, the detail and the designs on some of these G3 ponies are so flawless and just perfect. And Dibble Dabble is one of those. One of those flawless ponies. And again, I love the colour scheme of this pony. Don't know what I don't know what else to say other than they're like perfect. So I'm not sure about the pose, but I think it's a very like elegant pose. Like they're very like 
this is like a high class sort of like eh, attitude pose that I'm getting from them like very like elegant very like the head is held up high very proper sort of thing so that's the sort of vibe I get from like this pose on these ponies <laughs> oh that's an interesting one <gasps> This one is an Easter baby. <laughs> this one is an Easter pony. I believe the ones that have like a colourful back leg or just like a colourful leg or like an Easter edition one. So yeah, this one looks a lot like Cherry Lee. I don't know if it's actually meant to be Cherry Lee. And I think this is actually my favourite, like my favourite G3 pony pose of all time, to be honest, because it's so simple. It's straight on, straight ahead. I like that. So I just, yeah, I don't know if this is my favourite pose but it's one of my favorite ones because it's just simple straight ahead they're looking forward how i like it they're in like a standing i think they're in like a standing position like the leg is a bit move a bit animated there but i don't know if they're about to walk or they're just meant to be standing they are like a fashion one i think it's like a i think you call them like i don't know if they're a fashion runway i don't know i'm scared if i'm wrong because i'm not like a generation three like i'm not all knowledge knowledgeable on generation three or anything but i do like to collect them this is probably the majority of my collection of generation three <laughs> and i'm just getting them so yeah so this one is in a very nice mold preferably preferably my favorite pony mold is this one and they are an easter baby Ooh. Our next pony is Sparkleworks. Yay, I already have Sparkleworks. The one that I already do have, I got them from a charity shop. So this is a double for me. I think they're called Sparkleworks. I could be wrong. Sorry if I'm wrong. Their tail and the mane is very matted and tattered. They have the hair all nice and done in this beautiful braid or plait, whatever you want to call it. They have this fancy little bobble. So yeah, it's kind of blinged out a bit. So oh, Sparkleworks is going places. <laughs> Right, next up. Ooh, this one's interesting. I just like saw like the main colours. Like this is a blonde pony. I don't usually see like blonde coloured ponies and they kind of look like a little McFlurry or something. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, say oh, they are a popcorn one. Oh my gosh, I love them. And they're in like the humble sort of pose mold. <laughs> and I, lo I love them. This is like, this one's up there, like in the favorites for sure. Like I think they've also had something in their mouth. I think they've eaten some more jam tarts. <laughs> so yeah, this is a popcorn themed pony. I've never seen like such like a fun looking pony, I guess like. You usually, I'm used to seeing like elegant, like elegant sort of cutie marks, but like popcorn. <laughs> Who would have thought it? But yes, this is such a beautiful pony. I love this pony. They're the same kind of more fun and outgoing. So, eee! I feel like I should like adjust the camera to be a bit more uh, like a direct. So this is better, right? This is a better angle. So I might start looking at the ponies like this. <laughs> now that's a thumbnail. <laughs> So next we have this pony. This is such a better camera angle. Look at this. Look at this. Could this is could this is a killer thumbnail? This like look at everything that's going on. Like then you just get like the sweetie bell looking pony. Like hey, help me <laughs> and everything. Anyway, so this one is like sweetie bell. It's like sweetie bell. I don't know if it is sweetie bell again. I'm not very good with G three ponies and stuff. Like knowing the names and stuff because there's just so many and everything and I've never like watched the show of G3 I've only watched you know G4 <laughs> Friendship is Magic and then I kind of got into like collecting the G3 ones so yeah this is like a Sweetie Belle looking looking pony pink purple in the main they have like a front pink lock and the rest is like purple they have tinsel in the main I hate tinsel because it looks so scabby and messy and horrible so yeah I, I personally hate tinsel in pony hair so yeah next pony i see star song i already do have star song in this g3 mold but i don't think i have this pattern on them like i have the one that has the cutie mark but i don't think i have the one that has like the name down the leg and they are stained <gasps> it's like a purple stain like someone i don't know is i don't think that's meant to be they're like this random purple stain so oh no that looks so horrible so yeah they're like a little fashion pony <laughs> i guess i don't know if it's like a right word for this sort of line of ponies but i'm calling them like the fashion ponies i'm sorry if it's wrong i'm sorry okay don't hate me <laughs> please don't hate me so yeah the hair is 
messy because you know tinsel just makes everything looks ten tinsel makes everything look ten times worse than it actually is okay so yeah it looks really messy but it might just be the tinsel to be honest they have little glittery wings and look how tiny they are like the generation free ponies wings are so tiny like you you cannot fly with them like look at them i'm sorry but like how can these tiny little wings support this massive pony it can't i'm sorry it can't next pony we have is this pink one <gasps> is this rarity is this a g3 rarity <gasps> I think it is oh my goodness is this g3 rarity it is isn't it it is i think it is that is a g this is a g3 rarity pony i finally got a g3 rarity pony i wanted one of these <gasps> i got a g3 rarity i love them i'm definitely going to display them they are a pink unicorn they have like yellow orange and pink in their mane and they have a strange tail color combination i guess somewhat strange but it does match the cutie marks or the color schemes on these ponies are like insane like i like how they kind of miss mix match the colors like in the mane and the tail like the tail is different from the mane and i like that idea because it's just more exciting something different and more creative and just more interesting to look at and stuff and it does kind of it does go with like the cutie mark with like the greens and the blue in it so this is a green blue tail and an orange pink and yellow mane so yeah all of the colors featured in the cutie mark except orange i think oh no or orange is there i can just see it's so tiny but it's there it's there <laughs> next we have this pinkie pie pony <gasps> I already do have this one. I have this exact one in the same pose and everything and the, it, it does have the pattern on. They have like some rust I think. Oh what is going on there? They have like some rust in the neck. <gasps> oh it's not that bad actually but the tail on the other hand. That is bad. Like, look at that. Look at the tail rust on that. <gasps> That is terrible. I don't know how I'm gonna clean that. I don't know how to clean like tail rust and stuff. So the head is movable. So I'm probably just gonna like take the head off and sort this out the best I can. I don't really know how to deal with rust. But yeah, they are a beautiful pony. I don't know how rare they are. If they're like common, I might make like a custom out of them maybe because they're just, they're really pretty. Like <laughs> they're a pink pony in like the my favorite pose pretty much my favorite pose very simple this is probably my favorite pose i'm keep saying that because it is okay <laughs> but um yeah i do think of maybe making like a custom pony out of this speci specific pose i know you can get like a blank generation free pony in this pose so i kind of have that in mind as like oh this is like the legit pose i don't know how my mind works i don't i really don't <laughs> next pony is this interesting blue one look at that they're like a surfer dude like what up boo like they're like very fiery and they look like a surfer like they're kind of into like bunsen burners i don't know <laughs> like gas and electric i don't know they're kind of like a science -y. <gasps> they have a flame in the eye that is so cool i've never like seen that on a generation free pony like a flame in the eye like this is a cool pony not a fan of the pose or the mold <laughs> necessarily like what is this it's like the neck just looks so stretched and weird and kind of wonk they kind of look like a g5 pony <coughs> just with like the proportions of like the neck they kind of remind me of like a g5 pony this is like a g3 as a g5 or a g5 a g5 as a g3 pony like damn that's terrible <laughs> We have a lovely comb and a pony attached to the comb. Who is this? Oh, okay. So this is the comb. I don't know if it's a generation free pony comb. I don't think it is. Put that to the side. So we have this little cinnamon roll, ice cream cake face. I don't know what I'm saying. So they're like into like ice cream um, <laughs> and rainbow hearts and everything. And they are they have long hair. Happy about that. Love that. They have like these little hair clips in the mane as well. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm getting like some extra like accessories and stuff. I've never seen this pony pose before. I don't think. Is the foot meant to be out like that? Is that intentional or is that like, is that wrong? Is it meant to be? I think it is, right? I think it is, but I don't know. I think it is. But yeah, this is, this is a, an adorable kind of cutesy 
looking pony, aren't they? Like, look at them. Oh, oh. It, they look like they're kind of like cowering down with like the ears that are kind of back and they kind of look kind of like they're about to get run over by a garbage truck or something. So that's the sort of impression I get from this one. They're like, oh, let's go and get ice cream. But like they're crossing the road, but instead like a garbage truck comes to hit them. It's like the moment before they die. So the next pony we have is in this picnic pose. Again, these are just my personal nicknames for these poses. So they're not like official pose names. <laughs> they, these are just names that I've made up and I've like given them. So anyway, this is a pony in the picnic pose <laughs> and they have super long hair. They have many colors in the mane and in the tail. I love ponies that have like loads of like rainbow colors in the mane because I just think it looks so pretty. And in the tail too. And of course, I do love ponies that have super long hair because it's just so pretty. And they're really spoiling us with all these colours in the mane. Like, look at that. And look at the cutie mark too. Like, it's a rainbow of two berries and like some flowers. Like, look at that. Look at the detail of like the swirl. Like, look at that. Look at that. Next pony, we have this orange one. Oh my goodness. What has happened here? They have a... They, they've been chewed and they have a plot. They've given them a plaster. Should we take the plaster off? <gasps> oh! <laughs> so, this is very gooey and sticky. And yes, they are missing an ear. So, <laughs> so this is a very gooey, sticky plaster. And that is, that is disgusting. <laughs> it feels disgusting. <laughs> and this is what they look like. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You can see inside the pony's head. This is like, this is like biology right here. So this poor little, this poor little angel has fallen, um, <laughs> pretty badly. They've been chewed by a dog, I would think, or something, but or a child maybe. Um, <laughs> so yeah, oh, they're they're still beautiful. I still love the colours and everything. I love like the orange, like the two sort of orange colours, like that just crushed together. And stuff it's just a shame that they're damaged and stuff so this would be like the perfect bait for like a custom but i don't have this pony at all so i'm not going to customize them and they're, they're still beautiful okay i still love them i still like them maybe i could like fix the ear by molding them a new one or something and do some like surgery but i think it kind of looks kind of badass to be honest having like like scars and stuff and that's like damaged and i think that makes them look pretty badass so i kind of personally like scars i know it's kind of like i don't know if that's like a good thing or a bad thing i just think it looks kind of cool and i don't yeah it is sad that they are damaged it's just like you know i, I still love them though and i do love the cutie mark as well look at that it's like a full circle sort of thing it's like a flower it's like two daffodils or lilies i think they're meant to be daffodils that are like in a circular thing this is so interesting like Maybe they're like, they live in like a wheat field or something. <laughs> I'm curious to know the backstory of this one. Next pony we have is in the worst pose ever. Like, look at this. This looks horrible. I hate this pose so much. Like, look at that face. Look at that face. Hello, wanna buy a cigarette? Like, I'm sorry, but this, this just isn't it. Who, like designed this and thought it would be a good idea like this is like the worst pose like look at that it looks so horrible like they, they look high i think like look at this the eyes <laughs> it looks so like lazy like kind of sleepy eye like mm, like, <laughs> mm, like i don't know how else to like describe it but i don't like this pose and it's just horrible anyway and I would say the cutie mark is good, but the glitter ruins it. Like, look at that. It just, the glitter hides the detail of the cutie mark because there's that much on. And it just looks ugly. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Like, the hair colour story is the only thing that I like. I like the hair, but nothing else. Everything is bad. Like, the glitter is ugly. The cutie mark, you can't really see it because of the glitter. It's just ruined. Ruined! Next, we have another comb. And I think this is like an official My Little Pony comb. Like it looks, oh, it, look, it looks dirty. <laughs> like it looks like an official comb and it looks kind of, look at that. It's like a little ribbon like that. that that's kind of like, oh, isn't that kind of like adorable? So I, I do like this brush. I mean, yeah, it's a brush. It's not, it's not a comb. I'm sorry. But yeah, it, it, I, li I like it. I like it. Like, look at that. Oh, I like this better than this pony that we saw. Like, I like this better. 
This is better than a pony. I never thought I would see the day. Next we have this pony and wow. <laughs> I've never seen a pony in this pose in my life. And look at how majestic they look. Like look at that. They're like running like majestically on a beach or something. Like oh, like it looks so like wow. That's so like majestic. And they have really long hair too. Eee! So there's that and look at that. They're like running in the clouds of heaven right now. Like look at this cutie mark. Isn't that one magnificent cutie mark? It's like the crystal, the diamond and like with like the clouds and just like the oh, look at that amount of burst of power and energy in this. Like this this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Like the only thing is like the glitter, not the tinsel, I mean not the glitter. I call like tinsel glitter and glitter tinsel sometimes, so I'm sorry, but yeah, but it kind of works. Like this kind of like works and like ties everything together, so on this occasion I rarely like the tinsel. This is probably the only pony that I actually like the tinsel. I might take that back in the future though, so don't, don't get your hopes up pony. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very interesting, wow, an interesting pose. I don't hate it because it looks so majestic, but I don't like how it's not like this and straight on but just as like a piece of art this is a like look at that this is so elegant and so enchanting next up we have this one <laughs> so this is a crazy looking pony again they have the broken sort of neck pose like they have like the g5 sort of look to them um so they're very penned and inked up like so so i can get rid of this if i just put benzoyl trioxide on it it could get rid of all of the pen stains hopefully they look kind of christmas themed like that looks like it looks like a reindeer's ankle that's made out of snow to me that's what it looks like i don't know if it's meant to be in official th i think it's meant to be underwater <laughs> Is that like meant to be like an underwater white coral thing? Like it looks kind of Christmassy though, because I was like, oh, they're like the snowballs. They're not snowballs, they're bubbles, okay? So it kind of looks like an underwater Christmas thing that's going on. That's a little Christmassy because red is a very festive colour and green and red is like festive -y, but I think this is meant to be like an underwater themed pony and stuff. Strawberries are so popular in G3 ponies and I don't know why. What is it with G3s and strawberries and fakies even and strawberries? What is it with strawberries? So we have two more last things. We have another pony comb. I think this is maybe an official MLP comb. I don't think it is. It might be but I'm not I'm not sure on that. But the very last pony we have is this little sad onion right here. We have a generation 4 twilight. Oh oh my god i just realized something i had no <gasps> they are in the old head mold and they are a unicorn twilight i wanted one of these in my collection i already do have one but like it's missing a hair plug and i'm like really like i'm I'm a, I'm a perfectionist like that but i thought this was like an alicorn twilight no this is like a unicorn twilight in the old head mold oh my god i think the hair is a bit trimmed but they're not missing a hair plug and they're not really awful and they wow <laughs> i'm kind of, i was not expecting this i am um, wow wow they have a bit of a hairy neck problem don't worry twilight we can fix that <laughs> like so so yeah they're in really good condition though like oh i'm really happy that i got one of these now like a good one in my collection um wow anyway wow okay wow <laughs> so the last thing in the box is the cardboard box and voila that's everything. Wow, so that is the end of this crazy pony haul video. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been interesting and I'm so happy that I, I randomly found a G4 Twilight in this bundle. I was not expecting to get like a random G4 pony and I didn't think it would be like an old head bull Twilight. Oh. So let me know your thoughts on these ponies. Which one is your favourite and everything and... If you're a G3 collector, I'm sorry if this video is offensive to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, I am super happy with everything that I got, even if some ponies are damaged, but that's okay. I still love you. It's okay. And yeah, I can't wait to display like everybody on my shelf. I mean, I am quite selective. I only like to display certain ones and some of them just get put in storage, to be honest, like my least favourite ones. And I do kind of like switch them up like sometimes, like... 
if I just feel like I want to like switch up my display, I kind of like switch out the ponies. So everybody gets a chance to be on display, don't worry. <laughs> so that is the end of this video. Be free to leave a cheeky little like and a friendly little comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching and bye.